Hi, my name is Joshua Cheston and I'm the team leader. My name is Alpha Hadrigada and I'm the project manager. Hi, I'm Dan Marroli and I'm the operations specialist. And I'm Nathan Ferris, I'm the cat designer. And together we're Team B. The purpose of this lab was to create a monorail-like system that would deliver packages that were ordered online. It was to mirror Amazon Prime's air system. The device would have to travel along a rail, forward and backward, using a propeller, a LiPo battery, and a magnet that connects to a caboose. Energy management, efficiency, and consistency were the goals of this project. The AEV started at the distribution center, would have to travel to a gate, wait at the gate, then it would go through the gate, connect to a caboose, and drag the caboose back to the gate. It would wait at the gate again and then travel back to the distribution center. Our group used four initial design concepts. Concept A used the idea of servos that would rotate the motors forward and backwards so that way our AV wouldn't have to go in reverse, saving in power consumption. Designs B, C, and D all had the same aerodynamic style that would have to be printed or purchased. The initial AEV that the group used was the sample AEV given by the school. The group chose this design to allow more time to develop a better design. For the final design, the group decided to use the servo from initial design A, not to switch the motor direction, but to break the wheel. By breaking the wheel, the AV comes to a stop almost instantly. Here is shown the break in the on position, and here is shown the break in the off position. This final design weighed 253.0 grams. The total energy usage for the final run was 334.4348 joules. The group's AV successfully made it around the track. What the team learned from this project is how to solve problems as a team and as an engineer. The team was having problems with the while loop and if statement. To solve the problem, the team decided to use a server break. The server break was working continuously without error. Team B would like to thank the TAs, the GTA, our professor, and the Ohio State University School of Engineering.